Hey guys, my name is Pranav. Uh, Carter, Annika, and I will be ta uh, teaching you, talking to you about Unifor, which is a political organization of space. And basically, just the, this is just a review. It's not a full review, but like kind of a half review of Unifor, uh, focusing on state morphology and boundaries. If we and if we have time, we might get into border disputes. Uh, and make sure you listen. Hey guys, my name is Annika, and uh, now we'll dive more specific specifically into state morphology, starting with uh, the compact state. And the nation is mostly like it sounds, it's just a state with a compact formation and it usually has good uh, communication amongst its uh, citizens and uh, united government. A good example of this would be Poland and moving on to a fragmented state. An example of this would be Philippines and it's essentially you know, a series of islands or a series of flag fragmented land areas, as stated. And this usually leads to like a lot of varied resources and a lot of diversity among um, the citizens in all aspects, economically, politically, and socially. Hello, I'm Carter, and we're gonna continue with the state morphology. Perfected state is a state that has another state inside of it. The state on the outside usually has a lot more control on the state on the inside. In a landlocked state, is a state that has no ocean around it. So it would be like Switzerland, where they would have to ask another country to use their ports for ocean travel, so they have a big disadvantage. So the elongated state is basically just a really long state. Um, of Chile is a great example. And basically, for this state, the main challenges is uh, government control and communication, because since it's so long, it's hard to get each, uh, hard for the government to communicate with each region. Next day would be a corrupted state. Um, an example would be Myanmar. The basically, a corrupted state is a compact state with a huge extension, and this is mostly this is done for like resources. Like so, if a state is like landlocked, they might want to have a corruption to get into get to water or an ocean or something to get resources and trade and stuff like that. We're now going to move on to boundaries. An antecedent boundary is a boundary that was drawn before major populations moved there. An example would be the 49th parallel with Canada and the U.S. A subsequent boundary is a boundary that's drawn with the cultural landscape. So here in Indonesia and Papua New Guinea, this was a cultural landscape, so then they drew a boundary there. All right, so the next boundary is the relic boundary. A relic boundary is basically a boundary that's not actually there, but it seems like it is there because of the influences the boundary had when it, when it was there. So the biggest example would be the, would be the Berlin Wall separating West, Western Europe and Eastern Europe or West Germany and East Germany, basically splitting communism and capitalism. The next boundary is superimposed. This was a huge part of colonization where a lot of the uh, European powers uh, came, to, came to Africa and just took up land, grabbed land, and just drew straight lines, every, drew lines everywhere, marking their territory. And, and that was a huge part of shaping all the conflicts that Africa has today. Okay, last but not least, we have cultural boundaries, and it's safe to say that these boundaries are usually not very concrete and tend to be fuzzy. And uh, in this example, we can see um, Chinese cuisine, which in the north is typically rice-based, and in the south, it's usually noodles-based and other meals such as that. So this was basically our mini Unifor review of political organization of space, and just based on state morphology and boundaries. And remember, um, in the different types of state morphology, you have compact states, fragmented states, perforated, landlocked, elongated, and corrupted. And the different boundaries are antecedent, subsequent, relic, superimposed, and cultural. Thanks for watching, guys. And this was a very brief review, but stay tuned for our next video.